the people tuned in from all over this nation and uh, from all over the other nations of the world. The Lord Jehovah, he spoke with me yesterday at night, yesterday night, not this night, but the other night. The Lord Jehovah, Goel, the Redeemer, the Lord Jehovah Kabodi, the Lord my glory, the Lord Jehovah again, the Lord my shield. Magen David, the shield of David. Jehovah Ori, the Lord my light. Jehovah Miskabi, the Lord my high tower. Mephalti Jehovah, the Lord my deliverer. Jehovah Eli, the Lord my God Almighty. He spoke with me uh, this past night, not this night, but the night that passed. And in this conversation, the Lord spoke to me about the revival in the Latin America. I know that right now we are making our bearing and beginning to make our way towards Italy. But the Lord Jehovah he spoke with me about the nation of Peru. And this past night, he took me to Peru. And when he took me to Peru, I saw the meeting in Peru, a tremendous meeting that took place there, a big national revival that begins over there. And uh, in Peru, I'm aware that even the leaders of the land are getting involved. They're involved in the process. But the Lord took me to Peru. And when he took me to Peru, and then when I arrived there, there was a tremendous opening of heaven. So heaven opened. Heaven opened there. And the voice of the Lord said, Look, there is open heaven here. And immediately the servants of the Lord decreed, the two prophets of the Lord decreed, that look, there is an open heaven here. Then I see torrents. Then the Lord said, look, the torrents of rain are falling. I see little drops of rain falling in the meeting. So the Lord opens heaven. He opens heaven at the command of these two prophets of Jehovah, the prophets of heaven, when they get to Peru. And then... Uh, I see a lot of school children. Looks like they're slayed. The, the spirit of the Lord then descends within that open heaven and slays them. And then uh, I see a tremendous healing because from that point on, the Lord again hunts me down the leaves, the leaves of the tree of life. He takes me all the way up. And he gives me the leaves of the tree of life. And they are quite longer. This time they are longer leaves, very long. The bunches and chunks of longer leaves, very, very long leaves. Tremendously powerful leaves. Another crop of the leaves of the tree of life in the throne of God Almighty in heaven. And then I see a tremendous healing anointing that befalls the meeting in Peru. And then I see... On my left ear, I see a cripple that stands up and begins to walk. She begins to walk, begins to walk. And then uh, the, 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 she had a scarf. And then she removed the head scarf. And, you know, I can see she's walking. And there's, there's going to be a visitation in the nation of Peru when the Lord does navigate me to Peru. The Lord took me to Peru. He took me to Peru and he showed me this mighty meeting that was taking place in the open. And it was the last meeting. And I was aware that I'm prepared to take my flight, a very long flight, very, very long flight, and get back, get my way back to Nairobi, to Kenya here, where the Lord has now pitched camp, pitched tent for this mission, for this agenda on the earth. 
but there is going to be a visitation of the Lord coming to the nations of the earth, beloved people. And again, in Peru, I see there is a road. There's a road that curves like this. On the left, it goes towards, I think, Mount Enas a bit. And then it goes over the mountain, it comes left. The Lord took me there. And uh, I, I can see that when I arrived there, then my presence, the presence of these two prophets of the Lord, they, they, they commanded the heavens to open, and God the Father spoke by voice, and he said, I can see that the heavens are open here, and there are torrents of rain, the Holy Spirit rain falling. Then I saw little drops after I said those things, little drops of rain now, a little drops after I said those things, after the Lord said those things. Again, after I said those things, after the Lord said those things, those words, then I saw little drops of rain falling and a massive anointing slayed. I see I see school children. They look like school children. They're wearing dark blue, like navy blue, uh, dark blue skirt. I think the upper one is white. And I don't know whether shorts also it looks like. But the Lord slays quite a few of them down there. And then uh, a creep on my left, a crippled girl. It's a girl. It's a crippled girl gets up and walks, and then she removes her scarf when she comes close to me and to, to give testimony. So there is going to be a big visitation upon the nations of the earth. The Lord spoke about Peru this past night. That means he's igniting and is restarting the revival in the Latin America, in the nations of Latin America. And this is a refreshing time, beloved people, when heaven is opening and torrents of rain are coming down. The tremendous rain now, the rain of the Holy Spirit from the throne of God, I've seen in Peru, and I see the Lord visiting nations, refreshing the life of Christ in the church, the Holy Spirit bringing a refreshing life, renewing the life of Christ. And he says, shout for joy, for your dew is as fresh as the dew of the morning. And he says, for that matter, the Lord will resuscitate and revive the church. He will give you times of refreshing. He will renew the breath of God in the church at this hour, much needed at this hour. And so that is the conversation I see. And again, the Lord does take me on that road in Peru that navigates. It curves. It's a curve. It curves left like this by a mountain, and then he makes me now descend. There's a way they descend. But he shows me at this meeting in Peru, he gives me tremendous leaf, bunch, huge bunches, huge, very huge. I could not even contain them. I had to hold them very massively, all with both hands. And the two of us had to hold. And, uh, and these are the leaves from the tree of life behind the throne of God. And so there's going to be a tremendous time in reviving, in bringing revival to Peru, and also by extension, the other nations of Latin America, so it would be a wonderful opportunity for the Lord to open up the truck, the Latin American truck, so that he can bring a powerful revival and sweep across the entire continent of South America, going down like that, and then going into Mexico also up, you know, Central America and so forth, to bring forth a mighty revival of preparing the way for the coming of the Messiah and of the power of the blood of Jesus and the cross of Jesus being restored in the church, and righteousness being restored at the pulpit and in the house, in the congregation, and holiness being reestablished again in the house of the Lord. So this is going to be such a tremendous opportunity for the nation to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And so, beloved people, the Messiah is coming. These are the missions of the Lord that prepare the nations for the coming of the Messiah. The need for repentance to enter the house of the Lord, to enter the land. He is calling the nations of the earth to repentance and the turning away from sin. He is calling upon the nations of the earth to come out into repentance in Christ Jesus and receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, and turn away from sin. This is what the Lord is doing at this hour, in a tremendous way, in a very mighty way. 
And this is such a refreshing time in the history of the church. We are all aware of the apostasy that has taken away the authority of the church world over. We are all aware that in the eyes of the world, the church has now measured below her, below the threshold, below the benchmark of the righteousness of God and the holiness of God Almighty. But now the Lord is bringing a refreshing breeze, a refresher and a refreshing life in the church through repentance that now they may be renewed, that the house of the Lord and the congregation of the Lord may be renewed in their walk with the Lord in their salvation of Christ by adhering to the turning away from sin and the walking in righteousness and the holiness of Jesus, that they may prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. So this is such a powerful time in the history of the church and the history of the earth, because I have seen the Messiah coming. I have seen the Messiah coming for a glorious church, a glorious bride. And this is the most important hour right now if you are to talk about the history of the church and the journey of the church as she moves towards the finishing line, the entry of the church into eternity in heaven. So this is bigger than anything else the world can offer the church. And that's why for the Lord to speak with such a disposition of love, a tremendous disposition, and uh, he, he betrays his love. He brings his love now to the church openly, saying that when he brings his servants in Peru, heaven will open, and at their mere presence, heaven will open, and torrents of rain will come. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, the heavens are open here now. Immediately bring me to the nation of Peru. And he said again, and the torrents of rain of the Holy Spirit are now pouring here, pouring here, and I see the tremendous visitation of the Holy Spirit. I see the students that are laid here. Then I see now, on my left hand side, I now see the crippled girl or woman, I don't know whether 24, 22, 23, which age, maybe 18, 19, whatever, that kind of age, gets up and walks, and she removes the headscarf. She removes the headscarf. So it's going to be such a tremendous time in the history of the church. Whatever it is she was using to cover the head, she removes it. So I get to see the future and the things about to happen to the nations. So may all the nations hearken unto this voice, the voice calling out for repentance, calling the nations out to go into repentance and righteousness, repentance and holiness, to repent and receive Jesus and be holy, to repent and receive Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior and walk in absolute holiness as enabled by the Holy Spirit, and to turn away from all sin, to reject sin. Para rejasar pecado, to reject all sin, that now they may walk in absolute holiness and be given a chance to redeem their eternity, to be given a chance to enter the glorious kingdom of heaven when the Messiah comes for the church. I have seen the Messiah coming, and every single living being has an equal opportunity at this hour before the door closes. Every living being on the earth that is listening to this voice, the voice of the Lord, has an equal opportunity to repent from sin. Whether you are in your own living room, you are in a hotel room, you are in prison, you are in school, you are in a bus, you are in the airport, listening to this, or you are traveling or at home, or in your workplace, in the sea, in the ocean, whatever it is you are receiving this from, you have an equal opportunity to repent from sin, receive Christ Jesus as Lord, and enter into the glorious kingdom of God by embracing holiness, without which nobody will see the Lord, by embracing righteousness, which is the white linen, fine linen, bright and clean, that the church that climbs the stairs that have prophesied and have been lowered will wear. So may the Lord bless you, beloved people, as you prepare for the glorious coming of the kingdom of God, for the glorious coming of the Messiah, the King of glory, the King of righteousness. I have seen a tremendous visitation coming to the nations, so this is the hour to prepare. May the Lord bless you. 
have seen the Messiah coming. This is the one about whom it was written in the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. And Malachi, chapter 4, verse 5. This is he about whom the Lord said, See, I will send you the prophet Elijah, Elijah the prophet, to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah before that dreadful day of the Lord. Behold, now look, the Lord has placed in his hands the key that opens heaven. And now you know that they have been doubled and there are three. May those who have ears listen and hearken to the voice of the Lord, the voice of God the Father. Shalom, shalom. Shalom haverim. Tada. Tada rabah.